Happy Friday. I've had one cup of coffee, for the record. Anyway, Friday. Yeah. Image. When I slow down, my image of myself speeds up, or what I think my image is, and I have image issues. I have body image issues. I have had that for a very long time. And exercise helps combat the image in my mind that cycles forward or wants to push itself forward, which very well may not be true, the image that I see of myself or that I feel of myself, which takes us takes me to that, oh yeah, everything I feel is not necessarily true or accurate because the way I feel <laughs> might not match what other people see. <laughs> Isn't that true? You know, or what I hear myself say isn't what has actually been said, or the incongruency of what goes on between my ears and what has actually happened or happening is real. I mean, the way I want to feel versus the way I feel or the way I think I feel, all of that is is muddled in my own perception of me and my judgment of me and where I think I ought to be or should be or have been or am going to. That's a lot. And if you're anything like me, that's on top of everything else that I'm thinking at any given moment. So image, body image, dysmorphia, I have I don't know. Is that a product? Are we? I mean, we are obviously all a product of the society and environment we live. Maybe some of us are more susceptible to uh, the images. Think we should be a certain way, or how we've grown up. Environment, nature versus versus nurture. Am I enough as I am? All that stuff comes up in image. But I know that as crazy as it may sound for some and others, maybe not, that, you know, I feel fat. I feel like I could lose another 10 pounds like that. And that does sound, I don't know, it doesn't sound crazy to me. It, <laughs> I, it, which is maybe very crazy. Uh, I could be working out more. Always. And also, as I've gotten older and this simmering anger that I've held on to or stoked the fire of for my entire life has diminished a little bit and I've let go of some of that. It's gotten better as I've gotten older. I don't have the same... You know, I'll break it to fix it mentality, which has been my body. Like, I'm going to go, you know, I have a cupcake, I'm going to go for a 10 mile jog or run because I got to work it off. I mean, that's my, that's where my mentality used to be. I'm more, I'm more gentle with myself than I have been in the past, but staying still brings all of that forward, brings it all very much into focus because I I can't just even go for a walk as easily as I could. Uh, and, you know, some people are probably like, oh, fuck yourself, you know what I mean? Like, But these are things that we deal with. I mean, I don't know. It's the truth. So, yeah. Get to work with that. Image. Loving ourselves as we are. We're good enough, we're okay, we're perfectly flawed human beings as we are. Is that enough? Of course it's enough. But for each of us, that has to be decided that that's enough because I could say that to you as I'm, 
you know, quiet as I turn this camera off, I'm doing a thousand push-ups just to make sure that I look good, which is not, which is someplace I used to live and still think I should do. I, I'm, I'm a little twisted in a perfect way. So, I don't know. Slowing down brings all of these things forward for me, which is good. I welcome it. I'm grateful for, uh, I'm grateful at times for the challenging opportunity to be within myself. And overall, I'm super grateful that I'm willing to look at that stuff today. So, I don't know. Happy Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Whether you're working or you're chilling, much love, big light.